Today I am super excited to bring you seven Dollar Tree DIY games that are perfect for car trips, road trips, or even playing at home. I think you'll enjoy them. For this game, you just need to pick up a caddy. You can usually find this in the school supply section in the fall, or just with your regular organization section as well. And also get some of these fun arrow pointed sticky notes. You also want to gather a bouncy ball. Then you're going to pull off some of the sticky notes and use them to create an arrow or two or three. The more you have, the more challenging it is. So for younger players, maybe use one. For older players, use three or six. And then what you're going to do is put the bouncy ball inside of the unit and try to move it around and get it to go from one arrow point to the next, to the next. If you wanna play this with multiple people, just set a timer, see how long it takes you to do it and then see who has the fastest time. If you wanna level this up to a whole new level, don't just put the arrows on the bottom, put some on the sides as well, and then you have to try and rotate the caddy from play to play to try and get it to land in the arrows. There are so many fun things you can do just with these simple sticky notes, the caddy, and your bouncy ball. If you come up with a fun challenge with them, let us know in the comments down below as well. This Dollar Tree DIY game is perfect whether you're on the road or at home, keeping everyone entertained and having a blast at the same time. For this game, all that you need is one of these craft storage organizers that you can find at the Dollar Tree, along with a set of dice that they offer there as well. In this one, you're going to get any amount of dice. For most players, I like to do four, but if you wanna make it simpler, you can do two or three for younger children, or try and get all 12 for older children if you want a super complex challenge. What you're going to do is simply put the dice inside of the craft organizer, and then close the lid. And you can see in this one, we have a row of four dice, and then choose a number that you want to try and get, whether it's one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, or maybe it's even just random ones, like two ones or two threes, or try and get all four of the same number in a row. And then you're just going to shake the dice organizer and keep shaking it until you get the combination that you want. It's so easy, and you can have everybody doing this at the same time, trying to race for the same sequence, or just have fun playing it by yourself, or make it a little easy competition as well, where you can just say, how many shakes does it take in order to get what we want, and see who gets the least amount. The Dollar Tree offers clear dry erase pocket sleeves, which are perfect for this activity. And you also want to pick up some of these cute little people cutouts as well that come in multiple colors and a male and a female shape. And then the activity is so easy. All you need to do is get one of your paper dolls and then you're going to slide it inside of the sleeve. Then just get some dry erase markers and you can have so much fun coloring, putting different outfits on your characters. When your kids are done coloring, they can just take them off and then draw it again. I always use the Expo markers, but you can use any dry erase markers that you can get. Such a simple idea, again, with these pocket sleeves. And if you don't have these, just use a simple page protector with these awesome little paper dolls that they offer. For this Dollar Tree DIY game, all you need is a little shower caddy or a soap shelf. Make sure they have suction cups on the back and then also some cotton balls. And it's so fun and super simple. All you're going to do is put the shower caddy onto the side of your car window and use it to play basketball with your cotton balls. Because these are light, it's okay if they are thrown around and they're easy, they're not gonna hurt anything in the car, but it keeps your kids entertained for a long time. It's a great car hack for any travel around town or for a road trip. Continuing with our games that use bathroom or shower supplies, pick up some shower curtain rings and also a little hook. Then go ahead and just put this on the back of the headrest in front of you. Just let it sit in there really nice. Then you're going to get some yarn and put it around one of these shower curtain rings and tie one side of it to the other side of the headrest that is not using the hook in its place. Then have so much fun swinging that shower ring back and forth, trying to get it to land inside of the hook. If you wanna make it extra challenging, try and put yarn onto multiple shower rings as well and see if they can get them to swing one or two or even three in a row or try swinging all three at once to see if they can get all three to land on the hook. Lots of fun ways that you can level this up, make it more challenging and just have so much fun in the car. As a tip, don't make this super long. I like to just put the hook on one side of the headrest and then tie this with a really short string on the opposite side, the minimal that you need in order to get them together. The shorter it is, the less room it has to go around and hit anybody else in the car so you can still have fun while keeping it well maintained. And it's an easy game that they can play within their own space to keep everything self-contained with a lot of fun. The Dollar Tree offers these clear acrylic beauty organizers. You can use them for nail polish, lipsticks, but today we are using them for a fun game, combining them with the dice sets that you can get at the Dollar Tree as well. And there's two fun ways to play this game. The first is that you're going to turn it on the side so that all of the small compartments are at the top and the large compartments at the bottom. And you're going to use a single die, put it inside. You're gonna try and shake it 
and get it to go from the top box to the middle box to the third box and finally down to the bottom box. This one definitely takes a lot of time. It's a great way to entertain the kids for a long time, but I love it. The challenge is so hard, but it's so much fun at the same time. And if you wanna play it a different way, just flip the acrylic case the way that it's meant to be used. And on this one, you're going to simply make the die jump from level to level to level until you get down to the bottom one, trying to do it four in a row, and then you win. For this game, all you need is a marker storage container from the Dollar Tree and also some of their pointed sticky notes. Then you're also going to want to collect about four quarters. It could be fewer, it could be more, however many you have. And you're going to set up almost a Plinko style board for it to go down. You're going to use these fun sticky notes to create one point at the top and one point in the middle. Then you're going to say this is where we want the quarters to fall down. Then put the quarters on the top level. Once the marker storage is closed and secure, I like to gently put the quarters forward so that they're lying flat instead of standing straight up. Then your goal is to try to get the quarters to shift back and forth and have them fall down right where that arrow is to one level over to the other side and down where that arrow is to the bottom level. You can play and have a race between multiple people if they each have their own unit, or just time it and see what works. Typically, in order to win, you just need to get one of your four quarters down correctly along the path, but if you wanna make it an extra fun challenge, you can try to say that you have to get all four down that pattern, and any that skip down a row without going in the designated space, you have to try and get them to shift back up and then start all over again without having any of them from the bottom row that you've already gotten in jump out or else you have to redo those as well. There you have it, seven easy Dollar Tree DIY games that are perfect for car rides or road trips or even around the home. If you enjoyed these, be sure to give us a thumbs up, share some love, be sure to subscribe to our account as well and follow along at familyfed.com where we love bringing you tons of easy activities that make it fun to spend quality family time together. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye bye.